Hey everyone, it's Warriors NRL Fanatics here. Hope you're all doing well and had a great weekend. If you are a new viewer to this YouTube channel and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button down below. It shows your support for the videos that I do and it's much appreciated. And also don't forget to like this video as well. Click the thumbs up on the video and click the bell so you are notified when I upload next on the channel or when I go live. But this is going to be a Rugby League World Cup semi-finals review and it's between the England Lions taking on Toa Samoa. This game was played on the Sunday the 13th of November here in Australia so that'll be Saturday in the UK. And it was played at the Emirates Stadium in London so the home of the Arsenal football team there. So yeah look I mean... Going into this one, obviously, with these two sides, was England, you know, had a good win in their quarterfinals match against Papua New Guinea. And uh, Toa Samoa had a very uh, tough and physical encounter with Matama Tonga. And, uh, yeah, they got that, that win over them to go through to the semi-finals and their first semi-finals appearance at a Rugby League World Cup. But... My biggest question was for, for Samoa is how they avenge that that defeat, that big defeat in the opener pool match against England, where, you know, they, they came out of that game, you know, their performances wasn't good enough, and, uh, yeah, it was it was just one of those games where some of just weren't great at all, and, and England were too good, but, you know, I personally came into this thinking that I wasn't expecting that to be the case with some I expected them to be a lot, you know, a lot more better than that, what they showed in that game, and they were, actually, and, and Toa Samoa came out of the blocks, and, you know, the passion was there, you could see it pre-match, you could see from the opening, well, the opening set, that Samoa were really up for this, and uh, it was a try to Tim Laffer on the board first, five minutes into the to the first half, the start of this game, and uh, then, then we saw a hit back there from Elliot Whitehead, he scored a try, and look, this game was... I thought this game was living up to it early on, and I was and I was a bit concerned that it wouldn't live up to the hype. And yeah, I mean that that second half in particular. Now Samoa, you know they they got well they got a two try lead. You know they were up twenty points to twelve, and and I saw England were heading back. And I'm thinking to myself, look, I hope I hope Samoa don't let this slip. I really hope they don't because um, you know after after having such a promising well. First half and, and and second half, you know, I was I was just hoping that Samoa would keep you know keep the focus and you know England did very well you know full credit to them they managed to hit back you know with a try to Herbie Farnworth um, he he scored I know he scored two tries in this one and um, it was locked up at twenty six all now twenty six all and then we go into golden point and. Uh, None other than Stephen Crichton. He steps up to get the field goal. And boy, what a moment. What a moment for this Toa Simone side. You can see the celebration in the stands with the Toa Simone supporters. You know, no doubt about it. It would have been going off in, in Samoa watching this game. England, you know, they went to their knees. You know, the, the, they were heartbroken. They were distraught. They were gutted. You know, it, it was... A game where I thought it was a game that lived up to expectations. 27 points to 26. It was one point the difference. And it was a hero in Stephen Croydon. And boy, Stephen Croydon, boy, he's had a big couple of months, hasn't he? You know, the grand final. You know, an intercept try in this one. And uh, he stepped up massively. And uh, boy, it was just... For me, this this game had it all. It really did, and I I no doubt about it. Got to say this that for this for me is definitely game of the tournament. No doubt about it. But look, I mean, England. If you're an England fan, you you got it. You're disappointed. You you you're sad. You know, you know. You you wanted to see your team go into a final at Old Trafford to take on Australia, but it wasn't to be for England. You know, Samoa, look, I thought Samoa deserved this win. I thought they were the better team on the day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, first Pacifica team to reach a Rugby League World Cup final. You know, for a country, for, for, for a, um, for Ireland so small, you know, 
yes, I know they've got the um, inner experience in itself and the plays, but, you know, a, a team where a lot of people, you know, many years ago would, would probably not say this was, would be the case impossible for the Samoan team. But, uh, yeah, wow, wow. We, I mean, outstanding, wasn't it? Outstanding. But, look, um, congratulations to Tosamoa. Um, Matt Parrish, you know, I mean, he's probably been criticised a lot, you know, since taking over as Tyler Samoa coach, you know, there's, well, there's been stories where there's been a falling out between players and Matt Parrish, you know, that first game, you, you had your concerns there, but, you know, Samoa delivered when it mattered, you know, in the most important time of the tournament, first ever Rugby League World Cup final, and uh, they will be taking on None other than Australia, you know. That's going to be tough ass in itself, but, you know, people said Samoa couldn't beat England. You know, people said they wouldn't beat Tonga, and, well, they beat those two sides. So, who, who bloody knows, but it is going to be difficult, no doubt about it. But, guys, um, now to my man of the match. Look, there's a lot of standout players, in particular if you look at both sides. I thought, you know, England, if I had to pick out a standout player for them, I'd probably say, well... A couple. I've got a couple here. I'll probably say Herbie Farm with, with those two tries. George Williams was outstanding. I thought Elliot Whitehead was great in the forward pack. I thought, you know, Elliot Whitehead was also good, as well as Radley, as well, Victor Radley. But Toa Samoa, you know, Jerome Luai got the man of the match for, for the tournaments, um, man of the match there. Uh, look, you can't go past Jerome Luai, no doubt about it. I thought it was great. He was outstanding. He's been great for the last couple of weeks. He's really you know, led the way as, you know, as an experienced player in itself, you know, Jerome Loy, and he had a pretty slow start to the tournament with that first game, but since then he stepped up massively. But, look, I thought Stephen Crichton, you know, Brian Toto, Suali E were great. Uh, I thought uh, the four pack really stood up as well. Um, but, look, if I was to give a man of the match for, for this one, you know, look, I'm going to go for Stephen Crichton. I was going to go for Jerome Loy, but I'm going to go with someone different here. So, I think Stephen Crichton, for me, if you look at, well, obviously, that key moment, getting the field goal, and also scoring the two tries, 10 all runs, 136 all running metres, 22 post-contact metres, one offload, nine tackles, and no errors. So, Stephen Crichton, for me, um, you know, the hero, the man of the moment, the man of the moment that kicked that field goal to to get Samoa into a history making first ever World Cup final. So, yeah, I mean, wow, I mean, what, what a game, what a result, and uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the game. Let me know what you think. Do you reckon this was the game of the tournament? Who was your man of the match? And uh, yeah, well, do do you see Samoa? Do you see Samoa potentially winning the World Cup final? You know, I mean, it's going to be a tall ask, but anything's possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget, as well, if you are a new viewer to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. It's much appreciated. Like this video as well. Share this video around. And, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.